Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Monday. Happy 4th of July to my family out in the United States of America. I hope you guys are rocking out this holiday uh, Monday for you, Memorial Day, and are currently making it happen, rocking it out. Um, I hope you guys had an awesome weekend, rocked out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you had, and are currently making it happen. Today is Monday, back at the grind for everybody else not in America. <laughs> Canada, we actually had our day off on Friday, so that was pretty cool. We got our long weekend that way. A um, couple quick updates quickly before I get started. Cypress oil is actually the free product of the month this month, Woo-hoo! up until the 15th. Um, so you've got, um, so um, yeah, there's, uh, a, there's a time limit on it, but you've got a few weeks to get that. Cypress is good to invigorate the senses when applied topically, helps to improve the appearance of oily skin, which is perfect for this time of year, um, and provides an uplifting aroma, right? Definitely when Monday morning is uh, one of the worst times of the week, and uh, anytime we can uh, you know, uplift our senses, invigorate our minds, and get our things working for us is a beneficial to all of us. So if you're interested in free stuff, Definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Next, doTERRA has just launched a sun uh, protection line. It is sunscreen, lotions, all that sort of fun stuff. I think I'm going to have to do a video on that one. Uh, So, um, yeah, so so, uh, be on the lookout for that one coming out. But it is officially on sale as of July 1st, I believe. So it is a couple days old. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested in in switching over to you know natural products, living a more um, holistic lifestyle, right, and switching away from the uh, chemicals that come in in uh, regular products, definitely this is a kit that you don't want to miss out on. I believe it's an enrollment collection, uh, so you may be able to get the uh, the enrollment fee waived, which is wicked. Then you get 25% off of it, and that's so oh, that's so awesome in itself. Um, so if you're interested in anything like that, definitely reach out to me. Uh, drop me a comment, send me a message, and I will definitely get you rocking and rolling on that. Lastly, I promise, convention tickets are on sale. They have a fi- they have officially, um, you know, we are what? What are we today? We are July, August, September. We are just about three months away. I'm super excited for it. Convention is a yearly event. Um, it's um, a combination of everything that is happening through the year. There's new products, exclusive products. There's um, uh, the science, a little bit about why essential oils work with us, why you should care about oils, stuff like that. And definitely, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing event and I can't wait for it. It's online as well as in person. So if you're interested in learning more about essential oils, right, um, why this stuff works with us, why it should be important to your life, definitely reach out to me. And this is an event you don't want to miss. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, that's all I've got. I promise. That's where I'm going to cut it off. That's, I, <laughs> there's so much more going on over here. I promise you in that, and it's such an amazing time to be alive. What a, a legit, what a great time to be alive, right? So, what I wanted to come on and talk a little bit about today was the changes in life, right? We are all going through some changes, right? We've dealt with some changes in the in the in the last little bit, changing of the season, right? There's so many changes going on. People are everywhere I look, and you know, people are having babies. Uh, um, they're you know ad- adapting to a new life. They're adding to their life. Stuff is happening. Everything's going on, and it can be a you know very much um, you know uh, um, overwhelming and scary. And you know, it's it's definitely something that we're not normally prepared for, right? We we like to have things that we know about, right? Our comfort zone. We don't like to tend or we don't tend to drift too far away from there. So that's where, you know, changes don't really happen too much. But that's what we need to realize is that change is constant in our life. There is, you know, the only real thing that is, uh, you know, that's a for sure is that things are going to be different, right? The things are going to change. Even the good times aren't going to stay good forever and the bad times aren't going to stay bad forever, right? There's going to be a change in the tide. And that's where I wanted to come on and give some tips that are helping me at this current moment. I'm going through some changes in my life, new career paths, 
all sorts of fun stuff happening over here. So that's where for me, it's, it's really overwhelming. Um, you know, or it, it can be very overwhelming. And that's where I've got some tips that help me, um, just sort of, you know, weather that storm, calm that tide and, you know, help me really rock out, uh, no matter what. Right. So let's get right into it. Um, tip number one, Step number one, whatever you want to call it, right, is make the decision that change is good for you, right? This is what you want to do. This is something that you are seeking. If you're not looking to change, then definitely this, you know, this tip is probably not for you. And you can maybe, I don't know, just hop off right here. Um, but if you're looking for more out of your life, right, for different things, for, for new and exciting things, right, to get out of the day to day monotony, you have to really make that decision, right? Because, um, you know, the things, uh, one of the things that I really learn more than anything is our subconscious mind is very, very powerful. And I can feel that there's certain times where if I'm not consciously making the decision to, to change and to grow and to, you know, to, to move myself into a, the, the, the place, a, the, into the person that I want to become, it is very easy for me to fall back into old habits. That's the, the quote, right? Old habits die hard. And I promise you that is 100% true because there is multiple times, right? Where I, I actually heard a quote, um, and this, 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 this is more for, for business, right? But this can apply to pretty much anything that you're trying to do in your life. And if you don't feel like quitting three times a week, you're not doing it right. <laughs> and so that's actually a very, you know, prominent quote, especially now, uh, nowadays. Namaste, Enlightened Joe. Thank you so much for joining us. I am very glad to have you on. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us. We are talking how to deal with changes in life. Namaste to you too. Thank you so much. Um, so that's where, you know, it, it, as, as much as I talked about earlier, it can be scary, it can be overwhelming, it can be, you know, terrifying, it can be challenging, it can be all sorts of things that you want to list off, right? There's a whole list of cons that you can get for anything in your life always. But there's also a whole list of pros, right? There's a, there's a whole new world, right, that you can, that you can, um, uh, you can see, you can experience. There's a whole new different way of thinking that you can bring it about your own life. Add that to your philosophy, right? How you think about things. That's really what it is more than anything, right? So we need to, we need to make the decision that change is good, right? Change happens <laughs> really regardless of whether we like it or not. Change is going to happen. So we need to make the decision that change is good, right? And this is something that we want to do. This is something that we're interested in pursuing. And you know, what, one of the things that I've really been learning or that I've really been going by more than anything is what if the people that come before us are on to something, right? What if they're on to something, right? So, so if you make the decision that change is good and good things are going to happen, that's what people tell you, right? If you, if you think good things are going to happen, then good things happen. If you think bad things are going to happen, bad things happen. And what if, they're onto something, right? What, what if they're right? What if they may be wrong, right? There's a lot of people. I, one of the things that, that I, I don't really live by this, but one of the things that I, that I bring up in my mind a lot is the greatest baseball player ever hit 300, right? So seven out of 10 times he missed or he failed, right? Or he was wrong or whatever you insert adjective here, right? Whatever you want to say about that thing, right? So as long as you're, Keep, as long as you go out there and you keep trying, right, and you keep you keep deciding that this is something that is good for your life, that is beneficial for you, the sky's the limit, right? And you can you can go basically as far as you decide that you can go. Tip number two is to research yourself. This is something that we don't normally do as people, as humans, as men, right? I mean, you know that's. That's really the last thing that we want to talk about more than anything is how much of our feelings we have and <laughs> how much we, uh, you know, how much we care about something, not, you know, man stuff, right? So that's where this is, this is one of the things that we need to do more than anything. And it's probably something that we don't do more that, or that we don't do enough of, right? What do you want out of life? What does your perfect life look like? What, kind of things do you want to experience? What stuff do you want to do? What house do you want to live in? What 
kind of money do you want to have in your bank account? Do you want to drive? Do you want to fly? Do you want to have a jetpack, right? And soar everywhere? I don't know, right? Do you like skiing? Do you like surfing, snowboarding, right? I don't know. I'm just throwing things out here, right? Do you like, <laughs> you know, insert whatever activity you think might be possible for you to do or that might not be possible, right? Do you like skydiving? Is there something that maybe you, this is something you can think about, right? Do you even like those things, <laughs> right? Um, you know, and then it, it, there's so many things that we can go into, right? Do you, with you know, certain types of foods? Do you like waking up early in the morning? You know, are you a morning person? Is that what your life's gonna look like? That you go, go to bed early and you wake up early, right? These are the kind of things that we need to think about and these are the kind of things that we don't normally think about because it's really, it, it, you know, it's not a fun part of life, right? If you will, quote unquote. Um, it's not the most interesting thing to do, especially if this is not something that interests you, right? But this is something that can very much help you because, you know, if you don't know what you like to do, what you're interested in becoming, what kinds of things that you want to accomplish, then chances are you're going to accomplish none of those, right? <laughs> because you don't even know what you want to do. But at the same time, it's more likely than not that you're just going to go through the motions in life and you're just going to end up in a, you know, you're going to end up later on down the road. I can promise you that this actually happened to me because I've been at my current job for eight years and I don't even know, I, you know, I can remember the first day, right? When I walked in there and I was like, wow, this is, a new experience. This is something unlike I've ever felt before in my life, right? And that, you know, is eight years ago. And I, pff, so much has happened in that time. I can't even, I, I, I probably can't even recollect all of the things that have happened in that time. But I can promise you that with, you know, with me not deciding what I wanted out of life and what I wanted to do and what actually happened or what actually mattered to me, I ended up in pretty much the same place that I'm in or that I was in eight years ago, right? So that's, that, that's what I mean, right? That's the thing. That's why we need to do research for ourselves, decide, is this the stuff that we want to be doing? Is this the type of, of career path that we want to continue on? Is this something that is right for me? Do I like this? Am I happy here? Are my friends happy with me? Is my spouse happy with me? Am I happy with my, you know, these, this, I'm telling you, we can go on and on and on about this, but this is the stuff that we need to research about ourselves because we need to decide the, you know, we need to make the decisions as to what, um, you know, we want to become so that we do become that. Because if you don't decide what you want to become, chances are you're not going to become much because there's nothing for you to become. It, you have to decide something, right? It, it's that you can't get something out of nothing. You have to decide what you want to accomplish in order to get your brain to make a, you know, a thought process, a plan on how to get there. Number three is baby steps, right? This is something that is not going to be, actually, I was talking to my, I was talking to my brother a little bit ago. And one of the things that we talked about that came up in conversation was Rome wasn't built in a day. And that is true more than anything because anything that you want to do in life, anything that is worthwhile is going to take time to accomplish, right? No matter what, if you want to lose weight, right? Losing weight's like the hardest thing, one of the hardest things that you'll ever do in your life, right? And that is not something that is going to be done overnight. Um, making more money, right? Um, learning about investing, and that's been a real hot topic lately. Um, you know, learning about how to make your money work for you, how to open up a side business, how to do, you know, all that stuff. It's not going to take, or it's not going to be something that you can do overnight. It's not going to be something that's just going to come to you and, you know, it's just all of a sudden going to work and there's going to be tons of, you know, tons of people wanting to follow you and tons of money being thrown at you and, you know, tons of weight being, <laughs> you know, just, just falling right off. If it was, I'd, trust me, I'd sign up for that. I would pay whatever I needed to, to pay, to, to get involved in that. And that would be just an amazing thing, right? That's the problem is that type of, that type of experience, that type of thing, right? If you will, quote unquote, doesn't exist. 
So what we need to do is we need to put in the time, the effort, the energy, you know, and the resources, whether that be time or money, um, we need to put in some sort of research resources. If we're going to learn or if we're going to lose some weight, we need to do put in the time and effort to make sure that we're eating right. I love when people just say that they want to exercise more, but when you, but the problem more than anything is you can't exercise all day, but eating takes up a big chunk of your day. So if you're looking to lose weight, the very, the first thing you need to start with is, um, you know, what kind of, what, what, how much food you're eating and what kinds of food, right? So that's, really a basic thing right there as you know and then you can get into the into the exercise but if you're not eating right there's a the old saying is you can't outwork an, a, a bad diet right so you need to <laughs> you need to really understand what you're what you're eating what you're putting in your body if you want to make more money you need to learn about different ways to make money right online um, you know it, it, investing online uh, business um, maybe open up your own business uh, real estate right there's there's so many different ways to make money but chances of you going in and making tons of money millions of dollars and just living the life of your dreams next week is very hard it, I'm not saying that it can't be done because it maybe it can be but I don't know anybody that's done that so I'm gonna say from experience that I don't know if it can be done but that's the thing, right? We need to just take baby steps and we need to understand that our baby steps are doing something for us, right? Not everything is going to be that we have this and I've fallen victim to it more often than I would really care to admit is the instant gratification-ness, right, if you will. And everything we want to do, we want to be instantly gratified right away and we want to be instantly rewarded right away. And, you know, we can't really think about the stuff or we can't really grasp the concept that it's going to take a little while, and um, and and you know that that's okay too. <laughs> you know it's it's not going to happen overnight, and it's going to take a while, and that's why we need to just understand that the little steps that we're doing, the little things that we're doing today, are making big differences tomorrow. Which leads me right into my next tip: is to go easy on yourself. This one is pretty much the most important one that you can do. I can promise you that because this is also something that we don't do as people enough, right? We don't, we don't appreciate ourselves. We don't go easy on ourselves. You know, we can be, as much as we can be our biggest cheerleader, we can be our worst critics, right? And we can be the hardest on ourselves. And, and I was actually talking about this with somebody is that we don't, um, you know, we don't celebrate the wins enough. You know, we don't. And, you know, the fact that, we woke up today and had food at our disposal to eat and, you know, fresh water for drinking and, you know, for showering and clothes to put on. Like, those are all wins, right? That's like five wins. <laughs> and we haven't even eaten breakfast this morning. And that's where we need to really understand when we've won and to go easy on ourselves and to celebrate the wins. Just because we don't, you know, go to the gym every day uh, for, you know, four hours every day, that doesn't mean that what we're doing is not working, right? Just because we don't eat, you know, four salads every day doesn't mean that we're not doing the little, the things that we can do to help, you know, shed those pounds or do this something else, right? Just because we're not making lots of money in the stock market doesn't mean we're not learning about investing, right? Just because we're not bringing in so many clients in our business doesn't mean we're not learning about the different ways that work and don't work, um, you know, when it comes to online marketing, right, for for example. So these are all things that we, you know, we when we get caught up in the instant gratification, we get, we really lose sight of what's actually going on behind the scenes. And when you actually, I, I you know, this one really only applies to, uh, to business, but I read a quote by Henry Ford that really actually made me laugh and it said turning off advertising to save money is like turning off your watch to save time. It's, it's just, some things just don't make sense, right? And so some things are just gonna take a little bit longer than others. Some things are gonna be a little bit easier than others and that's that's really the thing that I love about life is that, you know, every once in a while they throw it throws a wrench into your game plan and it just really lets, it, it takes it down a little bit of a notch and it lets you know that, you know, you're not really on that pedestal like you think you are. And that's, you know, that's something that we need to, that we need to be okay with, 
right? Not every everything is going to be super easy all the time. The saying is, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And so, therefore, the fact that you even take the first step just to, the, the, to make the decision that you want to do something different in your life, that right there is a win in itself. And more wins need to be celebrated. My last tip more than anything is essential oils. Uh, I love using essential oils for everything. And, you know, when we're, oh my goodness, when we're talking about, you know, change in life, um, overwhelming, um, you know, anxious thoughts, so much, you know, sweat pouring down of your body. Uh, that's exactly what essential oils are used for. The first one I got here is a blend called Balance. And Balance is actually the grounding blend from doTERRA. And that's really what I love about doTERRA is, and their uh, their blends of oils. You can tell basically what it's used for based off the name, right? So Balance, grounding blend, right? When you need a little bit more balance in your life, when you need a little bit less anxious thoughts and a little bit more, you know, calming and relaxing thoughts. And, you know, you need a little bit less of the overwhelming, you know, stuff that's going to take you off your path and a little bit more of the exciting stuff that's going to bring you in that direction. I love using this one. Uh, we actually use it um, in the diffuser, a couple drops on the bottom of our feet and just allow it to, to, you know, just embrace our whole body and give us that calm, relaxing feeling that we, that makes us think that we can take on the world. My next blend here is Cheer, and Cheer is actually the uh, the cheerful blend. I think the, the the enlightening blend or something like that, and that's what a joyful blend. That's the one. That's what I'm looking for, and that's actually it, right? When you're talking about cheer, joyful, right? That's what you think about, and you know, dealing with overwhelming thoughts in your life can be very hardcore and it can be very downing for a lot of people and that's where I love the cheer blend it's great it's, it's a blend of a, a citrus essential oils that love that work together in combination to help uh, uplift our mood um, enlighten our spirits and really help us rock out whatever goals hopes plans dreams ambitions we had and make it happen that's all I got for you for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils uh, or how to get your hands on some of the cool stuff that I'm talking about, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.